Qualcomm has been investing in an outdoor OT network in a headquarters in San Diego for a number of years now to push the technological boundaries of 5G. This is a 28 gigahertz system that represents a real life deployment and allows us to understand and address real life deployment issues. This was a network we showcased last year in MWC 19, but have since further enhanced to provide more robustness and coverage. It's a single cell deployment, it's a single genome B with multiple distributed remote radio heads that provide receive and transmit diversity, as well as fast beam switching across the deployment space. We've also enhanced it with repeaters Qualcomm prototype repeaters for non-line type coverage and out to end coverage. The test device on our network is based on a Qualcomm Snapdragon 5G modem RF system. We have three antenna modules for uniform coverage and experience for the UE. Throughout this demo, you'll be seeing this GUI that portrays the, the KPIs for the demos. We have the downlink throughput, the active and candid beams for up to two or more radio heads on the Genome B, as well as the active module and the associated beam pattern for the device. We'll be covering robust mobility, enhanced deployment, as well as new use cases on our network. With distributed remote radio heads, the Geno P has the ability to, to use multiple remote radio heads to different users or to a single user. We'll start off by showing the capability of spatial multiplexing. So using two remote radio heads to support two relatively close users without any interference to each other. And we can also use these uh, multiple remote radio heads to provide extra robustness as well as coverage for a single user. In this demo, we have a single user, again being covered by two remote radio heads, walking towards the courtyard and briefly blocked by a metal van, but without any cut to service because of the other remote radio head. So this level of robustness is exactly what you would need in a real life deployment, especially when you have a dense number of users or dynamics in the environment, such as in a, a big square like Times Square. So in this next demo, we'll have a user, again, being served by two remote radio heads, the same two remote radio heads, walking through a large crowd, dense crowd, and being periodically blocked from either side, but able to maintain the link and able to maintain the experience because of the multiple remote radio heads and the multiple antenna modules on the UE. We we'll also want to show the limits of Release 15 as well as our own beam management algorithms. So the ability to beam switch and beam track our device. We put the, our, our device on a drone to have high mobility across our deployment area, as well as show high dynamics by showing rotation of the drone. We saw that even with a single remote radio head, we're able to comfortably support high mobility as well as the dynamics for, again, a uniform experience in the deployment. As we know, millimeter wave, it's hard to get non line of sight coverage unless you have good reflectors in the space. So you're bound to have coverage holes in your deployment. We show that with our prototype repeater that we can actually overcome this line of, line of sight diffraction loss and provide coverage and extend the coverage area. So repeaters are not only good for overcoming the uh, diffraction loss of overcoming uh, going around buildings, but also to overcome penetration loss going from outdoors to indoors. This would be key to provide any kind of coverage in an indoor space, lobby, cafe, or store where you have a high density of users and you, have, you want to provide um, data offload. We've also used our network to test new use cases such as boundless VR extensively to see the, that we can support the performance needed. We know that millimeter wave systems in terms of throughput and latency are perfect for these type of applications. But we also show that in our new deployment strategy with multiple remote radio heads, we can provide a level of robustness that are key for these immersive experiences. Thank you.